This video will demonstrate how to quickly measure and calculate the radius of your side flexing tabletop or mat top conveyors. Measuring a conveyor's turn radius could be needed for a variety of different reasons. The majority of curve measurements are taken for Rexnord's Roller Upgrade System, or RUS, or for retrofit opportunities. In order to accomplish this properly and safely, there are certain precautions to observe before beginning. If you are working on a conveyor that is currently installed in your application, always follow your lockout tagout procedures before approaching the conveyor. Wear proper eye, hand, and ear protection, and always follow your company and plant's safety protocols. To measure the inside radius of a curve, you will just need a tape measure. Additional tools such as two straight edges and a protractor can be helpful when determining the turn angle. When determining the radius of a curve, we first need to determine the turn angle. Most curves can be visually inspected to be 90 or 180 degrees. However, other angles such as 30, 45, or 60 degrees can be hard to visually inspect. If this is the case, we recommend laying down two long straight edges parallel to the straight sections coming into and out of the curve. Using a protractor or protractor app, we can measure the angle created by these straights and subtract this angle from 180 degrees. In this example, lay down two straight edges or tape measures down parallel to the incoming and outgoing straights. We find the angle between these straights to be approximately 135 degrees. We can then determine the conveyor's turn angle by subtracting 135 from 180, giving us a 45 degree angle. Next, we will measure the cord length. Find the points where the curve begins and ends. Take the linear measurement from the inside of the frame at these two points. This is the cord length. Next, take the between frame measurement from the inside edge of the inner frame to the inside edge of the outer frame. Using the turn angle, cord length, and between frame values, we can calculate the centerline radius of the conveyor with these formulas. In the case of a 180 degree conveyor, simply measure across the entire curve and divide by two in order to get the radius. Rexnord's side flexing mat top product line expresses each chain's minimum turn radius capability using the chain's inside radius. Subtracting half of the chain width from the centerline radius will give you the inside radius value. Rexnord's technical application engineering team is just a phone call away for assistance with any measurements and calculations needed. For more information or documentation, please visit rexnord.com or contact Flattop Application Engineering.